Well, let's do more of Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking the video and hope you have been enjoying so far. I say that I don't have my hybrids yet in the title, but who knows, maybe I do. Maybe I'm just not aware of it yet. I doubt I do. <laughs> it's just been still a slow grind to get the roses. Wow. Well, okay then. I had him visit like a couple days ago. It was off stream, but I put in an order for some fish model. So I bought stuff and. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Ah, to no one's surprise. Wanna... Okay, good. More green. No. I feel like something's wrong. Like, I don't see anything grow here. I've had these five for a long time. Okay, but at least green mums are going well. Sorry, Scoot. going to drive myself crazy by looking at this one more time. Yes, it's always the ants, I know. I'll call another purple one. Well, that's something. Maybe ants and flies can't coexist. Maybe. I, I created a file here. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing a green eggs and ham version of like me getting a fly. Just all the different things I've tried. Missing the satanic circle. I mean, I have the, the skeletons. <laughs> See, I think someone would be able to look at this and make a pentagram out of nothing. Like, they'll probably just look at some arbitrary thing and still be able to make a pentagram, because that's just how that stuff works. I know this because as a kid, I knew someone that, like, straight up believed the whole, like, Pokemon was, like, um, in that realm. <laughs> and the insane connections they made. Like, yeah. I'm... I'm sure I can't remember what it was, but... Just, that was what happened at the time. Hey Sandy, thanks for the 29 months, how's it going? Uh... What I was doing? Oh yeah, right. Just checking the state of things. I don't know man, like, these haven't progressed at all, like... Am I doing something incorrectly? I don't know. Twenty twenty four is already weird, and we're half a month in. Eh, I haven't really been paying attention to that.
to be fair, a game where you fight animals doesn't sound great. It doesn't, but like, you could make any, any game, <laughs> any game, like, be a whole ethical dilemma, you know? Like, if you really grasped at straws, you could do that, you could do that to any game. Wait, what the hell's going on? Why are my items bought? I haven't been- hang on, I haven't been in here and Isabel... I haven't been here and Isabel announced the day. Something screwy happened. This has happened before! Could it be that when I was- because I was rewinding time for, uh... The turnips so they would rot on purpose? Maybe it did something screwy. Huh. It's definitely a new day because Isabel announced it. So, do I have my clock correct? Yes, yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday, 6 p.m. I haven't touched this game today. Alright then. Yeah, so he has. He hasn't been talked to either. I don't know, man. I, probably the turnip thing did something. Just me trying to rot turnips on purpose. That's the only explanation I have. I mean, whatever, like, it's unlikely I, I would have bought anything anyway. So here's the thing, I played this last night just to get the daily things. So there's a bottle here, right? I did get a bottle, then... I did the daily island as well, just to make sure. What the hell? So why is the shop... Okay. I don't know, man. The only explanation I have is I must have done something when I was rewinding the clock to make the turnips rot on purpose. That's the only explanation I have. I have I have done nothing since then. As long as it doesn't do anything too detrimental. Yeah, I mean, I guess I haven't played this in a couple days. <laughs> Probably 10 to the money trees, huh? Okay, one more fossil.
Good. Damn. Still no gold armor. I wonder what's gonna happen first, gold armor or my hybrid flowers? This last fossil, come on. I've kind of become resigned to just the fly will appear eventually. I just I'll keep adding to the pile. But rest assured, like, I have done laps <laughs> once in bed watching stuff. Still nothing. This is just one of these things that for some reason, I, I, I don't know, I'm just unlucky on it. It's to the point where I have seen footage of someone getting the damn fly in 20 minutes. Within 20 minutes of setting up just a pile of garbage. Like, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like, that's, that's just the level of insanity that I've reached. Listen. Stuff happens to me. It's like, in Animal Crossing, I might not be able to find a fly. In Breath of the Wild, I'll get struck by lightning twice, and almost a third time indoors. That's, that's actually what happened. Like, I wasn't wearing anything metallic, got struck by lightning two separate times, and then the game almost struck me, struck me by lightning a third time inside a house. Or the tent, whatever. He didn't say that there was a new one, right? Like, I, I swear, I'm on autopilot now with this whole fossil identification thing. He just hasn't given me a new fossil, because there's only, like, one or two left. <sighs> just for safety. Okay, good. This, this absolutely makes no sense. I'm still perplexed <laughs> how that even happened. Really? Well, eight fossils? What? What kind? Ugh. Well, seven fossils, but still. Must have been some cheap fossils. I mean, even that one is, like, worth more. What even was... It's bothering me. Oh. 
It was also that time with the where I planted six pear trees and six apple trees at the same time. Five of the apple trees matured and one of them didn't. And then one pear tree matured and then the rest of them didn't. And I could not come up with an explanation as to what happened. Oh, is that a Mario? It looks like a Mario symbol. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. That one looks like a Mario symbol, but now I see it. Just Cappy, I guess. Anyway. Excuse me. Damn, I felt like it was red. Yeah, okay. Do I work from home? Yep. It's been the case since 2020. Got told one day that we had to start working remotely and then haven't come back since. It must be nice. It is nice, yes. I got a lot more done. Always have my bathroom. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's sure, that's a perk. I think the main thing is, is just... Uh, like... When you're in an office, sometimes people come to your desk and they... Sometimes it's a good reason, like they need something, but then you know your attention is diverted, and then other times it's like they just come to your desk for the sake of coming to your desk sometimes. And if you're trying to get stuff done, it's like, yeah. And then there's the whole thing of the commute, which kind of, by the end of the week, you're kind of sick of it. Do I have a separate working space? Uh, so I have this room here, like, that's the streaming room and working. But I also have a laptop that I can kind of just break out, and if I want to work from the living room, I can, or... If I want to work in bed, I can. If I want to go out to a cafe for a bit and work, I can do that too. So... I have options. Yeah, I mean, it's just, for what I do, it's the way people should work, in my opinion. It's just, <sighs> look, the people who romanticize the office, it generally comes from a place where it's either they have a boom mentality where they feel like they always have to keep an eye on someone or they won't do work. So, you know, the office is a construct where it's like, well, I can keep an eye on them. Or it comes from someone that doesn't want to be around their home situation, whether that be like kids or whatever. It's just, or they want to socialize, like work is their social, a lot of their social life. Those are people that romanticize the office typically, but like functionally, at least for what I do, it's just, it's not necessary. Any kind of argument like, Well, oh, what about face-to-face -face meetings? You don't need them. The pandemic proved that. Like, the world still kept functioning. Oh, well, we get a whiteboard. It's like, no, digital whiteboards are better. They're infinitely superior. 
That's like that's like saying, oh well, you know, if I write down stuff instead of using a spreadsheet like Excel, that's better. It's like it's not. The reason we have Excel is because it's proved to be superior. It's the same with digital whiteboards. It's like you don't need to translate messy handwriting. You don't need to take a photo. You can still manipulate it after the fact. Like, yeah. Anyway, this topic is like something that I. I am pretty adamant on just because um, I was definitely one of those voices that was like, we should stay remote. And here's why. And that vo those voices won in the end, thankfully. Work from home with kids, no thanks. Yeah. But even when kids are at school, it's just, I don't know. Like, you can do things... If it's a case where, okay, like, let's say kids are being loud, then go out with your laptop. Like, if you're working remotely, you're gonna have a work laptop. Just go out somewhere. And it's honestly understandable. It's like, hey, listen, I, I need a get some work done, I'm gonna go to such and such place and get done, we'll be back soon. I know it might sound simple, like I might be oversimplifying things, but... As someone who often had to do <laughs> work and just university work with just kids running rampant in the background, my younger brothers, and then sometimes my younger cousins as well joining the fray, like, there's a way to filter that noise out, or you just... You don't need an office to remove yourself from that situation, let's put it that way. And what the company spends on an office, like, you could say, okay, well... Let's say someone does need to get away from a house, just rent a desk at one of these shared spaces, it's cheaper than renting a whole damn building. Like, take it on a case-by-case -case basis. A lot of, um, studies have shown that, like, most industries should do work from home and four-day work weeks, because it's just no longer necessary. That five-day work week just came from a culture where, like, a production line was important. Where, like, things needed to be going five days a week, otherwise the world would collapse. But, like, now we have industries where that's just not the case. And when Friday comes, particularly in IT or, like, software development or whatever, it's... The thing that happens is... At about 3 p.m., at least here in Australia, people are like, oh, let's go to the pub or something. So they get nothing done anyway after 3 p.m. And even then, throughout the day, they're not as productive. They spend a couple of hours in the morning answering their emails. Then, you know, it's like maybe another hour before lunch. They have lunch, they come back, and then they're gone by 3 p.m. It's just, at that point, why bother? Just let them work four days, and then they won't get tired by the time they get to Thursday. They'll be happier, and just... There's so many studies already that have proven that, like, a four-day work week can be as productive, if not more so, than a five-day work week. The big commute thing is big. Yep. I appreciate... That's the thing that I appreciate the most, because... At a certain point in time, I had to get up at like 5.30 in the morning to get to the office at 9. Believe me, that sucked. But even just little things. You know, if I need to put on some laundry, I put on some laundry. It takes like 5-10 minutes. 
and then another five, ten minutes to just put it out. And it's, hey, that's one less thing I have to worry about and pile on on the weekend. It's like I'm not piling on a bunch of stuff, a bunch of little things to do over the weekend. Which means during the week, because I get to rest well over the weekend, because I have less chores to do, it just means when I come back the next week, I'm less likely to be tired. Because I've gotten time for myself. You probably wouldn't be that productive. You'd be surprised. cat gets jealous, but your cat's not- you're not gonna, like, play with your cat for four hours, are you? How's it any different than, like, a, a co-worker coming up to your desk, like, once every 30 minutes, or once every hour, and interrupting whatever you're doing? You can. <laughs> All right, but I mean, if you're in an industry that has deadlines, like, you know, if you're gonna keep the job that allows you to work from home, you're not gonna pet your cat for for three straight hours. Like, maybe outside of those hours, sure. It's been a while since I've made an axe. I need to make... I think I got a flimsy axe in storage. Anyway, I know not everyone's gonna agree with my views of work from home, but... Where I worked, we had reduced hours, and with the reduced hours during the pandemic, we did more work than when we weren't with reduced hours when we were ro working remotely. And that's that's just all there was to it. It's like the numbers didn't lie. We were as productive and if not more so sometimes. Working less hours and during the pandemic. But arguably there was more distractions because people had families all at home and they were all cooped up like There we go. I almost made the wrong one. Simple things such as comfort on the desk when it comes to preferences and ambient temperature make a difference. Yeah, well, that's the other thing is you have full control over that. It's a bunch of little things that add up. Being able to say what the fuck out loud helps too. Well, I don't know about you, but I can say that. <laughs> I mean, okay, in the context of like, being around just people that I work with, not in the meeting or whatever. As long as not, you're not using profanity to yell at someone, that's fine. 
shouldn't be yelling anyway. Whoops. But of course I live in Australia where like, I guess swearing is a little less stigmatized. I saw uh, a video of some dude in a remote town here in Australia and there was a road sign that said, road's still fucked. <laughs> That's the kind of culture we have here. Probably should have gone to halves first, oh well. Too late now. But anyway, I'm aware that there's some job types that won't be able to be completely remote. Or some that won't be able to do remote work, period. But like, for what I work as in that space, there's, there's no reason. And even those reasons, I'm sure they'll be overcome. It's just one of those things that, like, people were saying for years, and it took the whole world going to crap. <laughs> or for it to, like, be something that was actioned and came to fruition. We've just been convinced otherwise that, you know, it's not viable when it 100% is. Okay, well... Why does it... I guess I know the answer to that already. Why it doesn't auto-stack. Okay. I hear a shooting star. I heard a shooting star. Yes, I think I did. Okay, we're going to halves. Should probably grab what I've ordered overnight. And by overnight, I mean over the last two days. I ordered the stuff, the football stuff, because it was seasonal and I didn't have it. Not because I have any plan for football here. because I bought turnips.
Wait, that's it? I got bamboo shoots just for buying turnips. Okay. On, a, on another stranger note, YouTube Studio does this thing where it, um, every week sends you, like, a little summary of how your stuff's been going. Kind of alright. It's like, yeah, this shows how your videos have been doing. Anyway, I bring this up because it made me click on just see more information and look at the uh the analytics and i forgot which video it was but one of like one of them in the area that shows what people were looking for specifically to find the video there was like a riot a, i'm not gonna say a large amount but a surprising amount that were looking for asmr and asmr bf which I would assume is boyfriend. But. Yeah, ASMR, huh. I didn't even know that was a thing. But now I know it's a thing. So that's something I've, I've learnt the past 48 hours. That there's this. This whole thing. You know what, I thought about it, and I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense, because I remember this musician sampled some YouTuber that, um, her channel was just about, like, words of affirmation, I guess. So this musician sampled her. So I thought about it, I was like, oh, yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. Anyway. <laughs> That's all I got. I guess if thing oh if things go go south, I can always fall on that as a backup. <laughs> I'll just make videos where I just say words of affirmation. Ugh, it's just painting again. Yeah, it doesn't matter, even if it's real or fake, I already have it. Pretty sure it's fake, the real one is blue. Anyway. I got a truck now. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I have an idea for this, but I would need another free space. I think I can I can do Like if I abandoned this one 
Anyway, let's just leave leave that for a minute. This is the one I was after, so. I'm just thinking if it should be a lattice or not. Trying to picture it. I'm trying to picture it. Hold on. Mud wall. Pegboard. Hmm. Hold on. I mean, I've done that quite a bit. I mean, okay, I guess that's not the worst thing. All right, hold on. I'll just do the wire fence one. Gray and wire fence. Okay. I have an idea. Just how this idea pans out, I guess we'll see. Not the truck. The panel. This one. five. I'm not mistaken. I'll make five, but we shall see. So let me, let me see if there's something for the idea I want. Truck. D pad didn't move when I pressed it. 
classic pro controller d-pad. Aha! It does exist. Okay. One that's less detailed, the better. There's a lot of these, which is nice. That's it. Okay, so we have to pick one. Um, let me see. I think in this case less is more. That looks like ice cream though. I like the design, it's just ice cream. I wish I could edit them. I'd <laughs> get rid of the food item and it'd be fine. Yeah, I reckon this one's this one's alright. There's the code. Okay, so the one that I'm gonna sacrifice for the gods. Is uh, this one? Now I have to fix what I've done, but that's okay. I don't think that's being used in any build, so We're okay. It's just—it's another one of these ones that's just a single. And as nice as it is, I feel like I can do better. Better with this, so... Let's see how it comes out. Ooh. I mean... Like... It's a shame you can see the lines, but... thinking what color. Yeah, maybe orange. Then, I mean, eh, yellow is not bad as well. This feels more correct. I don't know. Is that weird to say that feels more correct? Anyway, it's done. Alright, let's head back. I need to fix what I have... Uh, I wouldn't say ruined, but like... Oh wait, hold on.
Belongings, okay. That's fine. Let's see how this looks. Should fit here. I mean, okay, it's like believable, I think. If I put another stall next to it, it should be fine. Maybe. I'll figure it out. Huh, if I buy a second one, I can do two. I know that's like such a redundant statement, but I mean, I could do two of them. Yeah, this is, this is what I, I have ruined as a result, but that's fine. It's like... Wasn't really adding that much to it. have customization kits. Okay. Hang on, let me check. I swear I had them. Maybe I'll put them away. Appear not. Oh, yeah, hot item. Okay. Stand that umbrella stand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This might be what I've been waiting for. Okay, <laughs> I've been waiting for a recipe to just use iron, iron, and nothing else. Iron hanger stand. It's the one, right? No, it's standard umbrella stand. What's the difference? Standard umbrella stand? Oh, that one, okay. One's an iron stand and the other one's an umbrella stand. I got it. Well, Thank <laughs> you. 
all. I mean, that does a pretty similar job. That's the color. Or that. That works. It's almost the same as what was there before, it's just now there's no coffee symbol on it. If I can get two, if I can get two out of it, two uses, then it's worth it. Yeah, those are really not that different. That just, just didn't have a cash register. I mean, that's fine, I guess. I don't think I have that. I do not. Okay. I'm gonna have to customize it anyway. Okay, another truck coming. I don't think any of this stuff is real. Okay. 
kind of figured. Oh, this, I just realized the statue's legit. No, wistful painting. Hang on, one of them is legit. Yeah, the statue's legit. Because I have three pieces of art. And he said no to the paintings, but the statue wasn't available to be selected, so. The rockhead statue's legit. See if this works, it's gonna be interesting. If the idea I have is is good. This rock is kind of in the way. Alright, hit it first. that button. I guess I can fix it. Okay, anyway, just roll with it. Catastrophic. Oh my god, analog stick, what are you doing? Okay, so. I need hedges. to make more. It's not enough.
I don't know if I want an easy thumbnail later. Now I know. Okay, anyway. That aside. I think it should be this, I don't know. Maybe I can go for... Yeah, maybe this will be better. So we have that. I need one more panel. Which I may have, who knows. Wait, do I? No, I don't. I got it. Right. God. This is correct. for the beach. Now nah, I just need to get the others. I did make others. I also bought... They were selling these in the store, so I bought a bunch of them. Just in case I want to do some fencing or something with them. There we 
go. Now I need a divider. On either side. I'm not sure I have any. Have the have these. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What else have I got? Kind of funny, but like I could use these bootleg art. The bootleg art to act as dividers because they're big enough. I don't have anything else. Um, repurposing things. Ah, okay. Let's see how these look. Could be sufficient. Rotate up. Oh, the rotation in this is so clunky sometimes. I mean, mm, eh. I wouldn't say that's great. I might order more of the... I know what I'm gonna do. No, don't move away! Not you. Especially not you. I did have a divider, but then I used it at Pecos, which is fine. Okay, what I'm going to do... I think we want Castle Wall. Or maybe we want the Medieval one. Where is it? M. That one. Although, ugh, I like that it has a light. The only issue is it's like it has a peeping window. Whereas in Castle Wall does not. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go with this one. I mean, it does, but it's higher, so less of an issue. Right, I need bells. I need 102,000 bells. Ooh, 
castle walls. Done. I guess I'll get simple panel. Could I order one more thing? No, I can't, because it was truck, the soundtrack, and the two castle walls, so that's it for today. this tree <laughs> to do something with. Okay, it's like it's almost set up. I did always intend to add more stumps here. I guess we can do that. Let's put a tree here. trying to pass through here. <laughs> I haven't done the fishing at all. Yeah, I'm just gonna add this to the pile. I honestly can't think of what to do with them yet, but I'll... Just add them to the pile. Oh. It's been a while. How is the scorpion less less rarer than the fly right now? Okay. We good. Oh yeah, right. Okay, hang on. It's 
So, in the interest of, uh... <laughs> Both making some money and also reducing... The amount of iron I have, I'm gonna craft umbrella stands. Let's just make sure it's, like, the correct one. This one, right? Standard umbrella. Not iron hanger stand. Standard umbrella. Okay. We're gonna be here a while. But I'll convert whatever I make from this into pokey or whatever maximum amount I can. Then who knows, I might be able to afford the yacht. Hopefully it sells well. If it doesn't, I'll be a little disappointed. Why? Well, because I'm converting a lot of money into pokey, so it's like draining my my funds a little. And I'm worried I might not have enough. Like, let's say I want to get a million dollars worth of pokey. If that's... Approaching four or five million bells. I know that it, it might seem weird. I think I'm like one more day away from getting the art, but whatever I spend today crafting this, I'll convert regardless of the exchange rate, but. I'll be disappointed because then I have gone to this effort of waiting and crafting and it's not going to reward. Where am I going to put it? Somewhere on the west side. I don't know. Like, there's that spot on the, uh, the northwest where I currently have the garbage pile leading to it. Probably do something there. I could do it where it's close to the dock. I might even give Alice one. Because she lives pretty close to the beach on the... So I might buy two of them. But the second one I'd purchase with bells. So it'd be parked at her house. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think like what amount would I need to get in bells for me to think it's worth it but there well like it's 28 of these I would expect at least 30,000 if it's under 30,000 then not worth doing Let's see. <laughs> 
There's also the air conditioning unit, which costs like 50,000 pokey. I can't believe that air conditioning unit is so expensive, but uh, there are items that I want to get that I can get with pokey, but they're just expensive. Okay, this is 100% worth it. <laughs> Definitely worth the effort. I can, I can make a cool million doing this. This is what I've been holding out for, like... I'm telling you, you hold out on the iron, and then when you get that iron... ...recipe, ka-ching. Okay. I'm gonna put away my customization kit so then I can hold more. I'll get them out later. But I can craft 30 at any given point. I mean, three stacks gets me 120. So one, two, Oh, like half a mil easy. Half a mil easy. I'm getting half a mil from this easily. The only tedious thing is just this. <laughs> I think it's a sit out. Otherwise, yeah. That's just with three piece of, pieces of iron. There are ones that use more iron. I was kind of hoping for one of those. Like... I imagine this would get you a ridiculous amount because it goes by the value of the crafting material and not the item. So that's probably one of the better ones to get because you just do like a couple of crafts and then it nets you like a bunch of money. This one's not bad. Very exciting. I've been mistaken when I heard of Shooting Star. I haven't seen another one since. Split this up by going to the Daily Island. Just so I'm not sitting here for 20 minutes.
Eggs is probably the most I've made from crafting. The other good one is the vegetable basket. The because that one involves every vegetable. It's just an excellent way to make money. Hundred and thirty five thousand for thirty. It's good because I, I bought a truck, so <laughs> this This will replenish some of that spend money. I'll do one more stack and then I'll go do the Daily Island. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to get rid of these rows and just leave it as, you know, that. Maybe even less. We'll see. I think t doing turnips again to get more money is just, given how much of a mess things are and how nice things are looking, because I've got flowers everywhere now, it's just, where am I going to put the turnips that won't get in the way? I think I'd rather just do this, it's, oh, every now and then I'll get a recipe that sells well. But also the hassle of, like, having to remember <laughs> to check in the morning. I think that's the killer part. It's, I forget sometimes. Hopefully I can afford the yacht today. If the yacht is worth 200,000 pokey, like... I imagine it'll be worth half a mil with normal bells. It has to be something like that. So either way, I have a bit of a money sink. If I want two of them. Wow. 
Oh, uh, man. I will be in shock if, like, for the next game. Well, okay. I said this about Tears of the Kingdom. I was like, I'd be surprised if they left rain in the game. No, they, they left rain in the game, or the slipping mechanics, they left them in. So, it's fully believable that they'll release another one of these games and still not let us craft multiple items at once. One thing I'm worried about is like they're gonna hold out and not announce anything this year of the new console. Just milk as much of the Switch as they can. I guess the, the sign of that will be if they announce like a truly major game for it. Until then, it's like, well, I can assume that the console's gonna get announced in the next six months. But if they announce a major game for the Switch, then it's probably not going to happen this year. I think that's the way to be able to tell. Okay, another 30 done. doesn't disappear, I hope. Let's go in the door. There we go. Okay, what, what did I get? Party Garland? Hold on. The plague is back. I gotta flee and still haven't got enough fly! Why? Daily Island, and then I'll come back and do more. I forgot that I'm doing this dude's fishing thing. I'll probably get on top of that. I'll do it on the island.
<sighs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, if parking the yacht somewhere here is overkill. I'll figure it out. Still hoping I get that island set in spring. I would like to get a dab so I can get fish and chips. It's not, I already know it's not it because when it is, cherry blossoms are in the background. It's something like a 4% chance or just un under that you get it. Yeah, that's not it. It's okay, alright. Uh, I'll just get the stuff and leave. I suppose I should go for the fish. Rep net flooring. There's also higher odds of like garbage here, so I might fish for a little bit. Oh, I think I have to catch little fish. <laughs> or maybe it's on the island and not here. I guess here is unsupervised. That doesn't make sense if it's a live stream. <laughs> I take the live stream with me. I'll just grab the stuff. Oh, can't go this way. Wait, what have I done? Well... Oh, cool. Alright, that works. Just making sure I can get down. Trash, please. <laughs> I can't believe I'm hoping for garbage.
All right, well, that's that's everything. Very quick. I forgot to dig. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, it would have been a gyroid, and I got plenty of them now. Okay. Well. What kind of fish does he want me to catch then? Okay, yeah, so it was big time fish. It just, for some reason, it doesn't count unless you catch it here. Fish and chips can fall out of the sky. I just want it for this to replace this with fish and chips, and it's obvious it's a fish and chips restaurant. It's just strange that they picked a fish that isn't available all year. Oh, okay, maybe not that. Strange that they picked a fish that isn't available in summer. It's. it's I don't know. Fish and chips on the beach at summer? Come on. A skull door plate, thank you. Should be... Uh, I don't want to risk it. I can't remember if I got rid of the, uh, the Christmas decoration on my door. I might not have. But I don't- well, I guess that makes sense because we're on an island, but I was gonna say I don't want to be a bar that, like, tries to run a pirate theme bar. But I guess on an island it would make sense. Okay, it does count big time. Good. Good, God. Ah, oh, damn it. That would have done it.
Okay, this will do it. Good enough. Okay, and then I have to pick what I want as the fish model. Guess go with the Dorado. Dorado's a nice one. Just make sure I don't have it already. I do not. Okay. Where'd you go, CJ? There you are. Um, I mean, I would assume I have plenty of these. as I hate to say it. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to crafting. Just gotta put the money away. Good. I've gotten back a lot of the money I spent. Think of the yacht, that's all. This is yacht money. How expensive are the air conditioning? Hmm. If the air conditioning units are 50,000 pokey, wouldn't that mean that they're... There's no way they're over 200,000 bells. Or 100,000 bells. 
I'm gonna need money. Like, five million might seem like a lot, but when you're getting multitudes of items that are worth like a hundred thousand bells minimum. I guess we'll see. Maybe it's just a discrepancy between Pokey and Bells. Two-thirds of the way almost. I hear it, I hear it. I hear it. Stop in a minute. Pass me yet. No, there it is. Okay, well, now it has. No, not that. giant ribbon. Oh. <laughs> I can be like my character in Nier Automata. Although I guess it needs to be pink, but still. Gotta put it away if I wanna get to 30. Where was I? <laughs> Five more. I'll go exchange Pokey after this. Okay. I should probably move the garbage pile somewhere that I'm constantly going past. I did put it in a corner, but... It's not really a corner I go to that often. Money!
I'm gonna go check the corner. I doubt it's there, but I have to check every now and then. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Where is it? I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Which one is it on? That one. Okay, got it. Okay, don't... Do not mess this up. Been waiting days for this. <laughs> Just wait. Okay. Okay, I can put this crap away. Oh my god. Alright. Finally! <laughs> I might keep it there and get another three just so I can get a model of it if I want. Just utter insanity how long this took to get one damn fly. Now watch them be common. Look, they're just gonna appear constantly. Okay. Yes. The foul fly is quite the disquieting creature, I tell you. It tastes its food with its feet. Yeep. In fact, when flies rub their legs together, they do so to get rid of debris blocking their taste receptors. And did you know their hairy toes release a sticky goo so they can walk on any surface, even your ceiling? This gross goo gets on your food too. Okay. <laughs> I, I was... I was losing it, just... It's such a simple task. Just watch now, now it's gonna be the most common thing ever. In the time it took me to get one, I'll get like six. I guess I can get rid of these now. They don't really, don't really have a purpose anymore. I'm gonna get rid of them. I have three ants, so I can get an ant model. Go. All right, uh, I'm just gonna go exchange some currency before I go back to crafting. <laughs> I still can't get over the fly. <laughs> I should do another house as well. Because I think I'm at the point where this is approaching its... Conclusion? I don't know. They've set up for the event, but I just haven't really progressed it beyond that yet.
Unless there's a villager here that just gets my attention, like I should do this. Alright, first things first. Okay. I guess I'll check the cafe and see if they're selling the food that I want. I saw the chips and I got excited, all the fries. Oh well. It looks like it's two pastas and it's just rotating this. Okay. Let's see if I have enough of the art. It's not bad. It's not expensive, so I'll exchange. Wait, what? Alright. It's like... I think I'm still sure. Let's see. <laughs> I'm probably still short. I can afford it. <laughs> yacht acquired. What color yacht? I guess I think I should put get this one so then I can put it at the back where that anchor is so then it's like a rundown yacht and a bird anchor up the back. And then I'll with normal but money I'll buy like a good yacht for Alice. Okay. Finally, how much is the air conditioning unit? What's the next thing I'm gonna save for? Because I need them for indoors. It's probably easier to just... Fifty six. <laughs> how expensive is this thing in bells? Anyway. Okay, uh, what about this? I'll buy it, it's cheap. Alright, cool. 
Yacht acquired. I didn't really see a villager that I would like to make a home for, so... Where's the bottle? There it is. That's a shame. All right. Guess I'm leaving. I mean, I could probably do something interesting with this. It just depends on what the theme is. I'm just not feeling too creative today. I'm not going to force it. At least I got to start on, on this. So with the wall somewhere, it should be, like, isolated. I don't know. <laughs> I should delete it. I guess let's just pretend that uh, one of these fancy ones that the water goes down the drain and then it replenishes and it's just infinite water supply. Doesn't work that way, but I know. The only thing I haven't done is get the money rock. the other rock's gonna appear tomorrow. I've had a habit of appearing where flowers are. I was thinking I'd be lazy, but what am I going to do? Putting it in storage is not really going to help. I also have these. Like, 
I think some of these just blazing us. I'll keep the gold ones. Oh crap, I forgot to get the iron out. Getting there. Go for it. <laughs> I don't mind. At least the nicknames this time around have been alright. The ones from when I first played in 2020 were weird. This will get me back up to 7.5 mil, so I should be happy. Oh, hold on. Would the yacht be here now? Just morbid curiosity more than anything else. I guess I haven't technically acquired it. Yeah, I haven't technically acquired it yet. Okay. Sorry that I'm doing so much crafting. Ah. But this is this is here. I've been checking practically every day the the hot item until this moment arrived. Gotta do two more, I think. Everything I, I earn today will vanish with the yacht purchase again. 
and the air conditioners. Six more to go. A few other small things I need to do is like purchase my fire hydrants. I know that might seem very nitpicky, but I want this to make things functional. It's like each street should have them. I think they're missing at the top. Whoever else has one. Okay. I'll get it back in a minute. Oh, that's ceiling. I would have laughed if there was a second fly here. But no. It's okay. Whoa. Saw everything load in. I might have um, too many objects.
<laughs> How many more times? Two, three, four. Okay, well. It's another 500,000 bells, at least, if I do it. Can't say no to that. As annoying as this might be. Just got back. Did you did you see what happened in the last I don't know half hour? Well, aside from that, yes, I'm still making umbrella stands, but I went to sell some, and then I was like, you know what? I should be checking the top corner of the map. Maybe I should move the trash. Because I don't really go there. I doubt there's anything there. And then, hey, look what was there. The fly was there. So I got my fly. I was clenching the, the entire time. I had to take, like, a sneaky approach to make sure I didn't mess it up. But it's there. Congratulations. Thank you. Though I don't think I won. I won in this circumstance. Given the amount of just mental exertion that I would have put into getting this this thing. It just goes to show that it was just straight up bad luck. Like I had nothing to do with anything I did. Because I haven't gotten any new trash today that's like my existing trash. It's just in the corner somewhere. Just uh, that unlucky. And I did purchase my yacht as well, so the yacht is coming. Now the next big ticket item is the air conditioning unit. Was it fresh trash? Nah. Just trash. I haven't gotten any fresh trash today. Just listing the different things I tried. This would look like I, I went crazy. But you know what? For shits and giggles, I'll list it again. So let's see. I tried just tires. I tried just cans. I tried... <laughs> I tried... A mix of them. I tried having a large pile. I tried having a small pile. I tried having them scattered along like a path where there was one piece, but then you know, it'd be a while before you'd get to the next piece. I tried with turnips. I had one turnip. I tried with multiple turnips. I tried with having garbage right next to the turnips. I tried having <laughs> garbage away from the turnips. I tried at daytime. I tried at nighttime. There was some, there was some, some dumb meme ones, like, okay, yeah, there was shooting stars in the background and there was a full moon. I tried it on a random captain, captain island. I tried it away from the main island. I tried it with fresh trash. I tried it with trash that I had been storing. I tried waiting two days. Ultimately, it just, it is what it is. You just put trash down on the ground, and eventually it'll work. I tried doing laps. <laughs> I tried going around in a circle around the island. I tried going up and down in a straight line. I tried using the warp pipe.
I tried going in and out of a house. I tried so hard and got so far. Alright. In the end, I did get it though. Like, it's to the point where it was becoming like green eggs and ham. Just the different ways I had tried the green eggs and ham. To the point of insanity. No, my guy, I really did try. I did not get my fly. And then you just list all the reasons <laughs> that it didn't work. You went away for like at least half an hour and I'm still crafting. Just goes to show that. <laughs> I said it already, but. It would not surprise me if they don't change this at all. I was hopeful of Zelda not having slipping mechanics in Tears of the Kingdom. But lo and behold, <laughs> Nintendo doubled down on it. Despite all the memes and just, I'm sure, very vocal feedback of just people saying, hey, this sucks. I was watching Star play that Disney whatever it is, Dreamlight Valley, I forgot the title of it. The Disney Animal Crossing bootleg game. But when the crafting menu came up and I saw that, oh, quantity, I was like, man. And they address it with a shitty outfit, yeah. I mean, my analogy was like, you know, if a firefighter came to your house and instead of putting out the fire, they would just keep handing you coolers full of ice cubes to throw at the fire. But, you know, if you watch um, Scott the Woz, I think his one is great. His one was like, hey, Nintendo gave me a bulletproof vest, and then someone shoots him in the face. It was perfect. But that's the thing, it's like, I said it as well in the, the tier list video that I did, right? It's Sometimes, it wasn't just the climbing that was the problem, is sometimes rain hindered you in a way that had nothing to do with climbing. Whether it be like certain bugs not appearing, or just you needing to set up a campfire and you're gonna have to set up like a structure to shelter under first. And even then, sometimes you couldn't do that, like... Unless you completely upgraded the frog armor, it didn't provide immunity and it was just bad. But then it became a thing where it's like, okay, I'm going to put on the frog armor for 15 seconds so I can climb what I need to climb and then swap back to the armor that I really want to wear. Because the frog armor is only useful when it's raining. I'd rather wear like fierce deity or something that gives me like a useful buff instead of something to just deal with a thing that they should have really removed. <laughs> the frames will drop by 15. I mean, credit where credit is due. Tears' performance was, was decent. You don't want a Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom for another 10 years. I mean, that's probably how long it's going to take before the next game comes out. I would imagine in between then, we're going to get like a new 2D Zelda and maybe like another remake. 
When I say 2D Zelda, I mean a new one, not a remake. Because we haven't had a new 2D Zelda since A Link Between Worlds, if I'm not mistaken. I think it just... It's fine if they keep the formula. I think what they need to do is just not set it in the same Hyrule and also just find a way where... You just need to have a way where things feel like a traditional dungeon. Like... I think thematically they were correct, but the dungeons in Tears of the Kingdom were not, were not dungeons. They were just... A better version of a divine beast. It's just, hey, they, they look unique, but functionally the same. I think they just need to have areas where you need specific things to get to a particular part of the map and not have it where... I mean, I enjoy the spirit of, like, being able to go anywhere whenever you want. That That's cool, but, like, if it's if that's at the cost of dungeons losing their personality, I don't know. I'd rather it be like, well, the overworld you can go wherever you want, but then dungeons specifically, I don't know, have some sort of progression gates to it, you know. I don't know how they would do it. Hey, Star, how's it going? I was just talking about you playing Disney, Disney Animal Crossing. I forgot the title of it. I've just been doing a lot of crafting, so... It just came to mind. Didn't enjoy the breaking weapons. I mean... They're annoying, but... I understand why they did it. Disney Dream Light Valley, that's the one. You've been farming all freaking day, you also realize you were doing it wrong and now you're making good money, wasted hours though. Yeah, but that's just like how these games are like. Until you learn the way. When I played Stardew Valley, I restarted my file three times because... I learned something new and I was like, oh man, I I could have done a lot better. I could have made so much more money now that I know this piece of knowledge that I didn't have the benefit to when I was playing it. It's the same with this, it's just... There's a bunch of stuff I've learnt. It's not going to be the best thing to watch right now because, well, I guess I'm almost done. One more time after this one. But I, I can't let this opportunity go. One stack gets me 135,000 bells. So, aside from Disney Dreamlight Valley grinding, what's up? What's, what's new? I finally got my dumb fly as well just before. I was just straight up unlucky. The sad thing is, was the past couple of days I haven't streamed, so I've just been watching stuff and chilling, and I was still trying to get the damn fly. And so yesterday, I watched someone set up the garbage pile. 
and then within 20 minutes they got the fly, and in that time frame I still did not get it. I must have spent at least four hours, maybe more, trying to get this thing, collectively. If you add up all the time. Be back after shower. No worries. We'll probably be playing Mario by the time you get back. Gotta start praying to RNG Jesus. But that's just the thing. My luck is extremely chaotic. But anytime that something like this happens, I also have something extremely lucky happen. It's just when I go, okay, I'm going to look for this thing. That's when I have bad luck. That's when you start the mind game, it's gotta be like, I really don't, I really hope I don't get that thing that's making me really mad. But I feel like they know. It has to be where I genuinely mean like, oh, I don't think I'll get it, then it happens. I had examples of like my ridiculous luck on hand. But there have been roguelikes where there's a certain thing in the game that has like a less than 1% chance of happening and there's been several times where I've had that event happen twice back to back within the same gameplay loop. Like Risk of Rain 2 I had some crazy luck with that game. Applause now for crafting. Probably use all this money again tomorrow. It's just gotta buy a second yacht. Okay, last stack. And then I guess I'll leave the rest. It's just, well, there are items that do require a bunch of iron, but yeah. Hmm. 
I at least had one thing creative. <laughs> just, I just need the side walls for this, and then there's the shower area. So when you get all sand in every part of your clothing or whatever, you can just wash it out. I still can't do much creative stuff in the game yet. It's so hard to get items between finding slash learning things and purchasing. Does that have multiplayer at all? Like, can someone visit your world and bring stuff? Because if that's the case, it might be worth looking up if there's, like, a, a trading. They don't have anyone else that plays. Yeah, I mean, with this, there's a website you go to, and you can list stuff, and then it lets you connect with people that way. And then they just... Either jump into your game or add you as a friend and you just do a trade. Like, this... <laughs> this game has a whole economy. They use, um, the travel tickets as, like, a, a form of currency, because no one cares about bells, ultimately. So, they use the tickets because that costs nook miles, and because people use tickets a lot to find... go find the villages they want, it acts as a currency. Or people just want trade for particular items, but I haven't done any of that. I guess aside from the fruit, people did gift me fruit, because that's the only way I was going to get it. Well, let's see. I'd be surprised if there wasn't anything like that. Or is Animal Crossing just like that serious? Tradery. And it has Dr Disney Dreamlight Valley. Wait, but then there's a bunch of stuff that says items not tradable. So how does this work? I'm looking at the listings and it's like, item not tradable, item not tradable. Tradable only. No res- what the- what's that? Huh? Alright, never mind. <laughs> I tried. I filtered by tradable items and it's like, no results found, really? There's got to be some way to do it. I'd be surprised if there wasn't. I mean, well, I'm just pressing the button A so I can look at this now. <laughs> it's not like I'm doing anything interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's probably a way of finding Discord servers, I guess. Only materials and resources. Oh, because a lot of items are bought with actual money. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that sucks then. Done. 
Oh, I guess. Yeah. Let's say if friends can buy things from your screwed shop. If you have a friends with better items in this store, that's cool. Okay. I mean, I know that when this game was like at its prime, people would share what was in this their store. So maybe it's like a Discord server where people are doing that. It's like, hey, so and so item is in my screwed shop or something. Because that happened a lot in this. I had one day where I had these, these jars, glass jars that when customized, you could have like cookies, candy, just a bunch of nice decorative jars. And I had my island open for like half the day because people wanted the jars and you could buy as many of them as you wanted. It wasn't like a single item. That was pretty funny. Where did gift go? Perfect. <laughs> I look like one of those those rabbits. Like those Ubisoft rabbits that just make noises. Is that a grilled fish design? Yeah, so the outfit is... I'm dressed as a piece of sushi. What's it called specifically? It's... Gizzard Shad Sushi Costume. Oh, right. Fine. <laughs> Alright, one more stack. One more stack. Because that'll leave me with 41. One more stack. And then I'm done. It's just, it's too good to pass up the opportunity. It'll get me to 8 million. As well. I mean, what else am I going to do with this anyway? crafted at least a hundred of these. Probably closer to 200. But it's worth it. <sighs> I just... I firmly believe that Nintendo would have definitely heard us saying that 
we wish multiple crafting was in this game. I, I refuse to believe there's no scenario where they haven't heard that feedback. It's just... I don't know what it is about them. It's just some of this stuff when it comes to the design of games, it's out there. It's just... I don't know if it's uh, like they choose to ignore it or it's just someone sticking to their guns. But there's, there's multiple things in their games where it's just like, come on, man, you, like, really? No one's, no one's ever said this to you? The crafting works the same in this game, so you're guessing it's done on purpose for retention. I mean, that would make sense if they had some kind of metric of success measured against the game, where it's like, oh, player retention is important, but... I don't think it is for this game, at least I don't think so. For something that's more of a thing that has... I hate the, the terminology, but live service behind it, that makes sense. But there's no monetization in this game. Retention is always important in every game. I guess. I guess if they're going to be selling DLC, it makes sense. Last game you were working on, always tried to find ways to keep people playing LEGO. Had no DLC or monetization, retention, return rates were two of the main KPIs. Right. I suppose it hasn't annoyed people enough then <laughs> for the retention rate to drop. Because that's the thing, sometimes, you know, game companies do that and then. Players get annoyed at it, and it's like, oh crap, this is just annoying, and they drop it. That's what happened to Diablo 4. That game's player base just, like, took a nosedive. Now I'm, I'm done. Without question, I'm done. I hear a present somewhere. Hello? Oh, over there. might be like the most anticlimactic thing to watch later. <laughs> just at a certain point I just went and started crafting stuff. I probably should have left the create the creativity to the end. Where's that present? Oh, there it is. I was like, I, I swear it was around here somewhere. Okay, I think we're good. I get my yacht tomorrow. It's 
just gotta go place it. Um, I mean, I don't... This is just another one of these situations, much like the fly, because nothing has happened with these. I just feel like I'm doing something wrong, but I'm probably doing nothing wrong. Like, this is correct, it's just I'm unlucky. I think I just need to just put it out of my mind, just water the plants, and then at some point, the colors I'm looking for will turn up, because I'm not doing... Well, those ones I'm watering every day, and it's been a week, maybe more, since another flower's popped up. So it's not even that I'm not getting the color, I'm not getting anything appearing there, period. Like, it's it's been a week, and no new flower has grown in this cluster. Where this is where the odds of getting the new color are. Space issue? I don't think it is. Because I've grown them in, like, much tighter situations, and they're fine. And it's kind of the same with this cluster here. Like, these five has have been a five for a while. Have that magic friend come and water things. I, I mean, any friend will do. <laughs> Too late now, I've already watered them. But I can see why on that trading website, people offer their services to water plants. Now I, I see why. It would cut down the time by so much if, if it's really, really that much. Um, I'm buying another truck, so I'm making it look like there's a food truck here. I got like a, a pattern that makes it look like there's a window. So that's the ultimate thing I'm gonna do here. I'll set up two food trucks. And then do like a little dining area here. So. I've started that at least. That's why I need the money. These things, they're not cheap. We'll see how it go. I mean... I would like to start moving towards finishing this island. As it's been... almost been four months. As fun as the game is, it, it'll eventually get to the point where it's like, well, the only thing left for me to do is water it. How does this game not have sprinklers? That would be nice, like in Stardew. But you gotta have the satisfaction of tending to the, your plants yourself. I guess that's the other thing, is like, Stardew has a patch coming out and I should probably consider moving towards finishing this, so then it's like, well, it's only one massive time sink at a time. Watering plants is the worst in Disney Dream White Valley. Okay. That's not just this game. Some sort of automation would be nice. Plants can take up to two hours in real time and need to be watered two to three times each batch. Yeah, that I would not enjoy. I mean, I think the game is nice if you're a Disney fan, but... From what I saw, just judging it on the gameplay loop of a cozy game, I don't know. It looked like it, it just became a massive chore list and then you have to revisit things like every half hour. At least with this, like, I water my plants, they're done, and then I don't have to think about it until the next in-game day. I guess I can choose when that is. Like, if I want to fast forward time, I can. Did I get the Arapaima model? I can't remember.
Oh, I should be checking this. I do. Okay, I'll just sell the fish then. Fish. There's a lot of backtracking and grinding, which is annoying. Learn that there's a way to reduce that. Like, there's a potion you can make to instantly make crops grow. Requires a lot of materials to make, but it saves you two hours and makes you 30k quickly. All right. We have to grind the materials to make it. I suppose it's no different here. Like, I have to grind materials. Not as much anymore, like... If I really wanted to do the remaining stuff, I would leave this running. When I'm not streaming, and then just whenever I hear there's a present, just look at the game, get the present, and then eventually I would get all the furniture that I want. Just stand still and wait for presents. But it's fine. Alright. If you do it right, it's kind of a loop. Harvest plants with the right character. You get the rare materials you need. To make the potion so you can harvest more quickly. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a system you get used to. I think just anything where I have to babysit stuff, that's... Where... I'll play those games, it's just I think they lose my attention quicker than most... If it's something where your, like, tasks are put in the context of, like, a, the whatever a day might be, then that's easier to do because you kind of... It's hard to explain, I don't know. My, my state of mind, I feel like... Even though it's, it's fundamentally the same thing, I guess, it's just... Being, being aware that there's, like, a clock that you're waiting on, I think that's the part that bothers me. Whereas in... When it's the construct of a day, it feels more, more natural. Even if it... Like, in Stardew Valley, for example, a day represents 20 minutes, so it's no different than if there was a resource on a timer of 30 minutes. But because I'm experiencing, like, the concept of a day, I guess it falls into the background. I don't know. The human brain's a weird thing. <laughs> Alright. Leave this here for now. It's time for Mayro. Alright, um... I should probably do some Happy Home stuff. It's... They've been waiting with the festival thing. I just wasn't feeling too creative. I've burnt all my creativity at work today, so... If that doesn't happen tomorrow, I'll... I'll try and do the Happy Home thing. Because I haven't seen it yet. I think it's either going to offer me to do whatever it is that needs to get done, or I have to make, like, a couple more houses and it'll be made available. So, I'll try and work towards that. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is it for Animal Crossing. Stream's not over, but I'll say the usual thing. Just, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end, and hope you have been enjoying Animal Crossing, despite today basically be the me being... Be me. I'm tired. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. English. What are you trying to say? Today was just me crafting crap and getting the fly and putting up showers. There we go. I got it out in the end. Um, yeah. If you want to support the channel over there, just click buttons like the like button or you can watch me play other things if you want. Either way, it helps out the channel. So thank you to those that do do that. But we'll do more of this next time. Bye, YouTube. <laughs>